you crazy for this one. Yeah, yeah. Dynamite. Grin in the place to be. Fire in the place to be. Let's go. I'm back with a flow so sick. Turbo charge rhymes like a V.6. It's crazy over here at the 016. And we're still blazing it up. L City Street. It's a Lowy, Lowy, my Lowy boy. Get down, get down like Vim Booza. Word of basement. Take green here, bump your face with amazement. Still local, kid flavored with ethics. A young fan go with a musical paintbrush. Styles H2O. I leave your breath. That's not who. Awesome, dude. What's up? This, <laughs> as like I said earlier on, right. been a long time coming. Yes. I'm like, how have we not had you here already? Here I am. Yeah, here pretty am. pumped that you're I'm here. Ha- I'm happy to be here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for coming up. I should ask though. Okay, so Tay Green. Right. What does that mean? Tay Green doesn't have a mean. Doesn't have a meaning. Yep. Excuse my voice. It's, it's <laughs> you are forgiven. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that you were performing I've or something. I've been performing okay. and then I've been up north, it's cold. I come here, it's hot. I yeah. go down south, it's cold. So things are happening. This is your... However, to your question, Tay Green um, originated from a couple of friends of mine. Okay. This was about 11 years ago. I used to do poetry and these guys used to come to the house simply because there was food in my house. <laughs> So simple reason. Okay, so every it's time like we a guy off, thing. Right. So every time we knocked off school, they'll come to the house and yep. we eat food. And they did music. So they would freestyle. And there was this one guy called Crafty who used to do the beats at home. Mm-hmm. And so they started recording and they would encourage me to do the same thing. I said, but I do poetry and music. It's not the same thing. They're like, no, it is the same thing, dude. So um, they encouraged me to do music. And uh, long story short, that's where my music started. Yeah. And in the process, I said, can I have a name then? Since I'm going to go into music, can I have a stage name? So they threw a couple of names at me. Some sounded a bit shady. <laughs> <laughs> and Take Green came about. So I was like, Take Green. It had a nice ring to it. Yeah, you know? it works. And I was like, okay. Take Green it, it is. So that's where everything for me music based started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of just like, oh, okay, poetry. Do you still do poetry? No, I've, I've, I, I write once in a while, but I'm now more focused into the music. But yeah. I mean, music and poetry, same thing. Uh, it's true. Different yeah, you know? yeah. So, it's all messaging and, 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 and so forth, you know. So, yeah, but more music now. Yeah, well, uh, with a lot, obviously, a <coughs> lot's going on for you mm-hmm. right now. And one of the things, a couple of years back, you were named one of the hundred most yeah. influential personalities in the world not Leave we're it. not talking just <laughs> Malawi or Africa but in the in world, the world right. how did that come about I don't know I think you know um, when I when I when I did some more research on on what they wrote and, yeah. and, and how they sort of go about what their criteria is yes. I think they look at in terms of what you're doing as a person and how you're influencing and how whatever it is you're doing your craft is influencing and I've always been an advocate for culture you know yes. uh, last year as well I was awarded by the, uh, the Chiwa Heritage Foundation for mm-hmm. preserving and promoting culture so you can see that the different uh, sort of my, the music that I've been doing and, 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 and the fusion that you know is involved within my music yeah. is something that has been recognized and apparently it's working to influence young people to be proud of their culture and so forth and so on. Well, then that so worked out well for you, right? It did. It yeah. Did, yeah. It did. Cool. And and then I guess that's how that came about. Yeah. Yeah. Dance like a b-boy, fresh to death, western clothes are a decoy C-boy simple, I'm hooked to culture like sex to an info Hitting y'all hard like waves to a seashore Pumping rhythm like them veins, when they vase or conflicto I ain't, I ain't mad with ya, but move to the side C-I-G by our low way, send a mill up this rap thing you heard Working for D-A and we don't play, now it's fun like a And talk about the culture, so I'm watching the video, right. Chiba Baba right. And I'm like, our nyaos look very dressed and clean <laughs> Gucci, that I was like, okay, so what this females <laughs> under that? Because I was like, they look. We like don't, we don't, oh, we don't we feel things like that. <laughs> I was like, hey, uh, ladies, we don't feel things. <laughs> Double down where in public. What is that one? You know, right. <laughs> What females? Yeah, about? what fe- No, no, that we don't <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, swag up now. They've been given all cool. kinds of names. Yeah, you know? but I mean, we just wanted to make it fresh, you know, different. And and I think it also for me, I like to 
get people talking. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like to put things in front of people so that they have a conversation because that, you know, it, it promotes, it's a way of promoting True. whatever it is that you're doing. So, yeah. good or bad publicity in the industry is publicity. It is. <laughs> you and know? you're out there anyhow. Definitely. But we just wanted to swag it out, get some, yeah. some fresh perspective on things. Well, let's you get know? on the actual song though because right. there's all <laughs> kinds of talk. Oh no, he recorded this like way back. Right. No, right. he did it recently. Mm -hmm. So, you tell it because you yeah. were there. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> this song was I started working on the song in if I don't around October, which is before October. My mind's blank on what month that is before October. What month is before October? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, the right. month before October. The month before October. You were on that. I was. Uh, it's DJ September. Slay. There we go. September. Yeah. So in September, DJ Slay sent me the beat. And uh, he sent it to me. I was on my way to the lake. I was going to the lake with a couple of friends of mine. And so I kept on playing the song in the car. Yep. And the melody or the, whatever, the, the stuff that kept on coming in my head was the chipa, the chipa, the chipa. I was like, oh, okay. So I just kept on playing with it in different, you know, different melodies and different vibes. And so when I came back from the lake, I went straight to, uh, to Slay's uh, studio and I recorded the song. Okay. And then in October, the month I know. And this is October <laughs> of last year. Last year. Okay, last yeah. Last year. I went to, I was in the UK for a tour. Mm -hmm. I was doing a tour in a couple of cities. So I bumped into Two Face, who I've known for. Because that's what we do. We so go we to the UK, just bump into Two Face. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? This seems to be happening a lot Daniel with you guys. Hey, it. yeah. Like, what? Uh -huh. So y'all bumped into so each other. So we bumped other. into each other. Um, we happened to be in the same city. So we were old friends. So we always reach out. Hey, I'm here, I'm here. Cool. So we linked up. And he was running through the projects that he was doing for this year because mm -hmm. he, he started early this year releasing a new material and he's mm -hmm. on tour now. And so I said, cool, uh, this is what I'm working on currently. You know, um, we had done some songs before, but every like when we met that time, we were open enough with one another to say, dude, mm. the songs that we did, like, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's best. So let's try a new one. So yeah. he listened to this one. And he liked it, and so he asked me, "What is what, what, what is this?" Thing? Yeah. So I explained to him, "It's a childhood game that we, we play back home. Um, we still still kids do play yeah. up to now." And then he said, oh, "Okay, we have a similar thing." So in his in his verse, there's a part he goes, um, "There's a part where there's a kid singing, you know, uh, come and see the God and da 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 da." Yeah. Part. It's actually a similar game that they have in Nigeria. So he said, okay. ah, brilliant, yeah, yeah, we have So the, the concept, he, so the got, concept it he got it quick Okay, cool And it's, so for me, Chibaba is a festive song Just a fun field song for mm -hmm. everyone Kids, adults, you know yeah. Reminiscing about your childhood days And so he got the idea, he went back to Nigeria Recorded it, and even his manager said to me what have you done to this guy? Because usually when you when you send Two Face a song, it takes him a couple of like months or so. Some to people have it. been yeah. asking him like, "Yo, can we do a song?" And you, he just went back, recorded, and sent. I'm like, oh, "Juju." It's that <laughs> chill, I <laughs> think. <laughs> okay. So, you know, so then yeah, he recorded. He sent it back to me. Uh, so by November, the song was done. Yeah. But for me, I wanted to release everything this year. Because I wanted to get in line with the, the awards for this year. Ah, right. So, so you, you are it, strategically doing things, not just, not just randomly anyhow. chucking no. songs at us. No. Okay. Because if I released la late last year, yeah. it's still considered as a song from last year okay. and it doesn't really flow into the, uh, the award system. So, of this year. what awards are you actually gunning for? All of them. <laughs> just, just put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Them, you know? The song, fortunately, is playing on all media, so that, Channel that is Trays, yes. NTV, and then we're sending it out to Europe, so it's on, on, on Ben TV, mm -hmm. and then that broadcast to a lot of other stations.
does that come about though? Because obviously people are looking at you and going, oh gosh, I just would love to get my right. videos up on right. MTV base right. and on channel right. O and I just want the world to see it. What happens? Do you have to send them out or is it, okay, you get to it. What happens? Well, um, the process is simple. You have a video first and foremost and it needs to be a good quality video. Yes. Most of the producers that produce videos have criteria from all these stations and what exactly they're looking for. Mm, okay. So you need to shoot with guys who understand what the channel is looking for. Yeah. It's not just having a video. It, it needs to be a specific uh, criteria that the, the, the producers need to follow. Yeah. Certain specs, certain frames, certain all these technical details that the producer needs to understand. Once that is done, so when the video meets the quality and criteria of each and every channel, each and every channel has a different format. Mm -hmm. And for instance, Trace, you don't deliver Trace to Trace. Mm -hmm. You email Trace a link. So your, your video needs to be uploaded uh -huh. onto YouTube. Okay. And it needs to be of a high quality. Uh -huh. And then you send that link to Trace. Trace takes that link, sends it to France, and then they, crit they critique all the videos. And then they send back. Now Trace has different segments. There's, East, there's Trace Southern Africa, yeah. there's Trace East Africa, there's Trace Nigeria, there's Trace. There are like 12 different Trace channels. So then they sort of they filter it to which channel they feel uh, is relevant okay, to your music. Cool, yeah. right? If it's just the Southern African music, they'll play it on the Southern African mm -hmm. link. If there's a mix, like well, my Chibaba has two, two faces, yes. so it's on the Nigerian East African, it's on more links than yeah. one. And, and then those particular channels then also have to decide whether it, they oh want to Oh my gosh, not. dude, it's, it's such a process. a process. It's a process. Like when I released the video, it took almost about three to f a month. Wow. Before it started showing. And people yeah. like, so why is it shot the video? We don't see it on channel. Oh, we don't see No, it's a process. Yeah. Uh, you know? Obviously. And each channel. And then they write yeah. back to you say, cool, we've accepted your video. Or. Or not. Mm. If you're not, then you don't never get anything back. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I hate when that happens. You know, it's like, can you tell me? Because right. I don't have to walk around town thinking about did it work Definitely. out or not. But your video. So what did you guys actually shoot it? Because I was just watching it. It's such a work. You know, like you're looking in. I'm thinking, what? Where on where earth were these place? people? <laughs> it looks like Mars. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. It's, we shot it in Joe. It's in Africa. For real. And it's a three hours drive from, from, from Johannesburg. Okay into the middle of nowhere into a city called Ni into Nigel yeah. I, I say nowhere in commas because it's really somewhere <laughs> <laughs> dude and they're like, somewhere. they're like cars around you know it's funny like when, we, when you see the video you think it's in the middle of like a desert right? of some kind yeah yeah, yeah okay. sort of yeah watch behind the scenes <laughs> oh okay yeah the watch behind the scenes mm -hmm. you, you, you get you get the understanding mm -hmm. but the camera guys were very good at what they were doing obviously and they went there a day before and s spent a whole day on site. Why? They were checking how the sun rises, which, say, which way it sets, at this hour, where is the light. So everything was systematically planned. Mm -hmm. And when I got on set, they knew at 2 o'clock we're shooting this shot, at 3 o'clock we're doing this, at 4 o'clock is break, yeah. at 5 we're doing this. It was Working. so systematic. Yeah. You know? Obviously, if you're going to do something good, you've got to have right. prep that right. works right. well to get right. it done. Okay. Budget yes. of the video. Because yes. obviously... Yes. You're here, so I'm gonna ask everything that I need to ask, okay? Okay, okay? The rumor has it that it was about five million kwacha. Just a bit to more, kind of a bit more, okay. A bit more. The, the video itself cost five point five. Just the production Just the video, of, of it. The video. Okay. So that's everything you see in there: the extras, the models, uh, the hair, makeup, hair, all of makeup, that. Makeup, clothes. Because we just walked on set. Yeah. I just got into the car in the morning, and the shoot started at five. Well, we left the hotel at five a.m. And we started shooting around seven. Mm -hmm. So I just literally got out of my bed, and put on my <laughs> tracksuit, and went to site. Yeah. And everything was provided for food, makeup, transport. So all that and production. Yeah. Cost five, just, five the video. just the video. Okay, cool. Yeah, and yeah. then of course there's the extra cost of you guys having to travel there, and whatnot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So obviously, to getting a really good music video, you've got to invest. You have to invest. Like you have to invest. And if you're gunning for those type of awards, yeah. you, you have to have be to. Really, yeah. yeah. It's an investment. Yeah. Music, I think music is the most expensive industry to be in. Hmm. It's not cheap. You know, because if you look at the the, the, the MTV channels, or yeah. all the channels, if you look at the videos they are playing, those videos cost. 5.5 is like at the bottom of what most of those videos cost. Yeah. You know, they wow. really spend money. And one of my other questions would be mm -hmm. leading up to, on, on a more personal okay. end of things. Okay. Because aside from music, people do have a life. Right. You know, right. they need some loving. <laughs> 
<laughs> they need a little something. <laughs> are you dating? Are you not married? Because that's not on the wall, right? Okay. Oh yeah, that yeah, okay. obviously. Okay, so you're not yeah. Congratulations, yeah. thank you. Oh my gosh, it's great. <laughs> Seeing as you're not married, are right. you dating? Right. And you right. need to tell the truth. Right. I mean, right. this right. might. Right. Mm. Right. Don't give me a right. Is, right. Are you dating? Right. Are you? Right. Is it complicated? Right. 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 This guy. Have you seen on Facebook? <laughs> they need to put like a new status. You know how to say single, married, complicated. They just need to put it right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's a yes. Yes. Then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, because yes. you're looking like you need to be getting married. <laughs> Couple of great no 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 not, no, not, no, yet. not yet not yet no so no, no bolding no no great, like small. you're you, I'm still in my team you, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know way, you know I mean yes yeah, so I just had to ask because yeah, usually yeah. you know people are kind of always interested yeah, yeah, in that no, type yes, of thing like so how's that looking for him do I right. need to bring him up play the song no because usually girls will use that as a way you really know, uh, I mean, at least in the west okay. <laughs> Make some uh, pudding or something. Anyhow. <laughs> was a dove, never had anything quite like this, the joy and the happiness that you bring me, pure bliss the way we chill, hang, when we move and we a team, damn, sort of like a dream team in sync, from my genesis attached like Siamese, our thoughts are one, we live through the storm, ups and downs, when your heart was torn, you stuck around, I am perfect, but this love that I'm feeling is, thank God that he blessed me with you. Nothing will ever take us so hard. You will always live in my heart. So aside from other things, uh-huh. the music that you are doing, yes. you have released this Jiba Baba. Yes. I'm pretty pumped about it. It's playing everywhere. Does this mean there's an album coming up? Because I know that like you bring your single and it's always hot. You know, it's like it's out oh, there and you. it's yeah, we are super excited thank to get you. it. What's happening now though? Next single's coming out soon. Da, 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 drum roll. It's called Ganda. Ganda. I was thinking I heard wrong. Yeah, it's scratch. <laughs> scratch, scratch. <laughs> okay, tell. Ganda features myself, Orezi, and Sonia. Yes, I love Sonia. Yeah, he's fire, he's fire. Yeah. And produced by Sonia. Okay. Yeah. Do we've had like uh, quite the chat? Yes. I have plenty more questions. But you have to come back so that you know we can catch up and okay. and see how things are going. But um, anything else that you'd love to share before we wrap it up? And where do you buy your clothes? Because you always seem to be wearing something pretty fresh. Thank you. Yeah. I can't it's tell you. It's such a random question. <laughs> I can't tell you that because then there'll be some other guy. Oh, who's, who's gonna? Like you? Yeah. So okay. We no. So that, we're not no. gonna. That happened once though. I went clubbing. I walked in. I'm like, yo, walk my way right back. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back right now. Yeah. All I just want to say is <clears throat> thank you guys for voting for Chipapapa on Trace. It's number four currently, but it needs to get up to number one. You know, so we can only do that if you guys vote. So go on Twitter, go on Twitter, and you know, hashtag request Trace Chipapapa, and that will get it to number one. So please do that. Thank you very much for your support, and look out for the next single very soon. Thank you. Awesome. Well, you heard it from the man. It was so nice having you over. Thank you. And so, Kanda and Kanda some more because that's coming up. <laughs> so, be on the lookout for that. And yeah, be on the lookout for what he's doing because I guess he's doing us real proud. Thank you. What up, it's your boy Tay Green, aka the Nyao King, and you're watching Fresh on Zodiac. Do not change that dial because TV does not get hotter than this.